I hated my job as a plumber and it's no offense to plumbers. I just didn't like what I did. Um, it's a very respectable career. They make good money. I still think they're underpaid for what they do. But anyways, if you're anything like me and you hate what you're doing right now, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video to the very end to find out how I was able to quit my job and go do exactly what I wanted to do. I'm Connor Kelly, Vancouver Realtor. This channel is all about helping you with social media, mindset, and self-improvement. Most people don't like their jobs. I remember hearing a statistic, something like 70% of people hate what they do on a day-to-day -day basis at work. And honestly, I think it's probably a lot higher than that. And for me, like I was a plumber for nine years. I hustled really hard. A lot of overtime, a lot of on-call shifts, a lot of night shifts, very few vacations, not a lot of fun. And yeah, I basically entered something called squirrel mode, which is basically, if you know squirrels, they pick up nuts and they store them and they conserve all their resources. And that's kind of what I did for a long time is I just, I worked, saved my money. I didn't spend anything on clothing. I didn't go on vacations. I rarely ever ate out and I just kind of saved everything. And then by the time I reached 25, I realized that it was going to take me a long time of living my life like this to get to a point where I could not live like this, like where I had money and I had investments and I was financially free and I could kind of do what I wanted to do with my life. And I just wasn't willing to wait that long. I hated what I did and my body was breaking down and all of these problems were coming up and I was coping by drinking, smoking and doing all those kinds of things. So I needed to make a change. So I decided that I was going to 100% focus on becoming a realtor. That was my number one focus at age 25. Because during this time, based since I was 22, I was educating myself on real estate investing. At this point, I already owned three properties. I was educating myself on self-improvement and all of these things. I just realized that all the people I looked up to, all the influencers that I, I consumed their content, they all kind of started out as realtors, like Graham Stephan and Meet Kevin and a lot of the people on the Bigger Pockets podcast. They went from realtors to influencers or house flippers or investors. I just thought, you know what? That seems like a great place to start. I want to be a realtor. I love real estate. Let's do this. So pretty much from that point going forward, and it took a year, I quit drinking, I quit smoking, I went completely sober, I didn't hang out with my friends, and I literally focused all my energy on how the hell do I get out of this job and become a real estate agent. And as a result of this, I managed to save up so much money because I was I wasn't spending the amount of money I normally would on like smoking and drinking and all this other stuff. And I was saving even more money than I normally already save because I didn't spend money on really anything else like experiences or anything like that. And then eight months later, I signed up for the real estate course. I then passed and I had about 45 grand in the bank by the time I passed my exam. But then the first thing I did was I went out and bought a Lincoln. So that cost 23,000 bucks or something like that. And then I was left with just over 20 grand in my bank account. And believe it or not, with just 22,000 or something like that, I quit my job cold turkey, went into real estate full time. And about 10 months into having my license, I was 17 grand into my line of credit. So basically had no money and was negative $17,000 in the bank. But I wouldn't change a thing that I did in that regard, because even if I was 70K into my line of credit, in real estate, you can literally make that money in a month and pay everything back. And then it was well worth all the stress and headache that you went through having that debt. I think my biggest month so far in real estate was about $87,000. But here's what I would change is that I hated plumbing for basically the last three years I was a plumber. Now I take the philosophy that if you hate what you do, then you need to change it because there is no amount of money that makes it worth doing something that you hate doing every single day of your life and making you completely miserable. Like you get to live one time, you sleep eight hours, and then with traffic, you're probably out of the house doing your shitty job that you hate for 10 hours a day. So 18 hours a day, you are, you know, doing stuff that you basically hate doing. There's no enjoyment there whatsoever. Then you gotta make dinner, you gotta go to the grocery store, you gotta do errands, you gotta, whatever. There's basically no time there to enjoy yourself. And then, you know, you have kids, there's no you time. People will literally do a job they hate their whole life because they're getting paid 60, 70, 80, 90, even 150 grand a year. And they're like, no, I can't leave this job because the money's too good or whatever, right? But, but you hate doing that job. What is the point of the money if you hate everything that you do, if you hate your life? 
The money has no value if you hate your life. Time is our most valuable asset, and this is exactly why the rich use their money to buy time back. They just hire out people to do all the stuff that they hate doing. So I would have jumped ship a lot earlier. Even if I felt like I wasn't financially ready, I still would have just left because here's the thing. Humans rarely perform unless it's out of necessity, which basically means you're not gonna do something unless you absolutely have to do it. And basically, the less money you have in your bank, the less cushion you have in your bank, the more you have to make this happen. And this is exactly why everybody finishes their homework on the very last day before it's due. Whereas if the teacher just said, hey, here's your homework, it's due tomorrow, everyone would go home and do it that night. So if you hate your job, stop doing it. Just find something that you want to do and start doing it. It's going to be painful. It's going to be the hardest thing you ever do, right? Quitting your job, quitting my job was the hardest decision that I ever made. It was very emotional. It was, I had to completely reinvent myself and change who I was my entire life to make it happen. And you're probably going to starve your first two or three years in that industry. And it's going to be really tough and very emotionally stressed, stressful and all of these things, but you're going to grow as a person. And eventually you're gonna be able to put up with all the negative downsides that come with running a business or that come with becoming a realtor. Cause at the end of the day, we're never gonna make more money than you know the extent our character grows to, right? So if you're putting up with all of this stress and all of this you know, pain, your character is growing and the money should follow, right? So again, not to put down plumbers, a lot of my best friends are still plumbers to this day. And I, I think it's probably the easiest way for somebody to make six figures, at least in Canada. And they're in very high demand but it just wasn't what I was passionate about. I'm passionate about this. I like doing this. This is what I wanted to do. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. And if you like this video, you'll definitely like this video. So make sure you watch this one. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.